Oh, I wish I still had kitty cam handy. It's somewhere behind the green screen. I just don't know where. And a lot of my USB, uh, USB devices have been malfunctioning. Although, now that I've replaced my CPU, maybe they won't. I've got myself some water. We have ourselves some smack. Let's get back to the game, shall we? So where we last left off, we've discovered some signs of human settlement nearby us. Um, this isn't necessarily that there's a base here. This could just be a scout that has hit a pod that built some solar panels. In fact, that's almost certainly what it is. But that does mean that there has been a scout unit on this territory. So it's good to know, and we'll find out who it is. Production complete. We have finished our colony pod, so we can now build another colony pod. In addition, we can do research. Mm, let's see. I would like to do Doctor in Mobility, because I want to get at flexibility pretty quick so I can build boats. We currently can't even build boats. So let's go ahead and start chewing on that for a bit. It's going to take a long time, and that's fine. Uh, we have built a scout patrol here. I don't remember why I was building a scout patrol, but sure. Oh, that's right. I need to do scouting. That would be a good reason to build a scout patrol. Um, let's go ahead and start working on a crate. Yeah, we'll work on a crate for the time being. And let's start heading off eventually. Um... Well, unfortunately, where I would like to build this is full of fungus. Before I do anything, I would like to hit this pod in the vain hope that we can actually do something with it. Um, maybe it will create a forest and get rid of some of the fungus for us. That would be nice. Turn complete. Um, what's in here? Recovered. You know, a pod like that where it creates some farms. That's very similar to the pod that went over here to create the solar panels. Always in one away. Pod recovered. Oh, hey, look, we got another Unity foil. That's nice. Turn. And this one's not damaged. Unfortunately, this is... Oh, it is independent. Good. Okay. Honestly, I think we should just throw the colony pod in there and shove it in... Here is actually not that bad of a spot. Please be good. I can't tell. Ah. <sighs> Turn complete. Okay, you're gonna sleep for a while so you can heal. You go into there. I think I'm just gonna have this go over to here and build since there's already some solar collectors there. Although we know that there's a human faction nearby. But I'd rather take their territory than take my own new territory. Really? Turn complete. Well, fine. Oh, actually, before I do that. Let's go ahead and switch over to green to see if we can capture it. It'll cost us 16 credits, but we can get a refund if we don't want to continue there. Nope, we can't capture it, but we can at least fight them and get money and level up. So that gave us 10 energy credits because we attacked them. For reference, this is actually how I fund my economy late game, is just by constantly attacking native life forms. It's great. Recovered. Okay, it finished building a children's crate, which is Turn good. Complete. It's not what I wanted in this case, but it's still pretty good. Proper care and education for our children remains a cornerstone of our entire colonization effort. Children not only shape our future, they determine in many ways our present. Men and women work harder knowing their children are safe and close at hand. And never forget that, with children present, parents will defend their home to the death. 
Colonel Corazón Santiago, Planet, a survivalist's guide. So yeah, um, while Santiago has the right idea, uh, she's a little on the extremist side. <laughs> yeah, um, when you read the novels, which I actually do own the novels, uh, they're just over there. In fact, let me go grab them really fast. One moment. So the novels. So we have uh, Centauri Dawn, which is the first book. We have Dragon Sky, which is or Dragon Sun, which is the second book, and we also have Twilight of the Mind, which is the third book. Uh, these books are actually fairly rare now. Uh, I have fun trying to find them. They're okay, not particularly awesome, but they're decent books. There's nothing particularly wrong with them either. But Centauri Dawn is actually the one, if I remember right, that covers Santiago. Uh, it's Santiago and the Gaians? So Deidre, if I remember right? It's been a long time since I've read them. And it's not a happy story. Uh, in fact, book three is really depressing. So yeah. Um, how much are these books worth now, anyway? Okay. Yeah. You see what I mean by they're a little on the expensive side? Uh, and I think the third one was the rarest. So that is what? Twilight of the Mind? Yeah. Not even found. How about sold items in the pet? Yep. Rare book. What can I say? So, yeah. Um, rare books. They're staying with me. They're precious to me, even though they're not particularly good stories. Uh, I know somebody's recently scanned them in, and they're available online via Yarharing, so I'm not too concerned about that. Be nice if the original writer's got some more royalties on it, but it is what it is. So, we ended up accidentally finishing the crate early. Um not much for the space to do at this point because it's so limited on our resources so i'm basically just going to have it constantly build colony pods until we get better resources we're actually going to have it do that which will slow it down even further on the colony pod but it gives it more food so it'll grow faster the hope being that my phone will start making noises why are you making noises um email okay uh one moment I was recording that entire time. Oops. Uh, hopefully, editor me can drop that out. So, um, let's just move the unit back up. Windows not selected. There we go. Um, this is going to be solar. Will you please? Thank you. Ah, you're finishing the crate there, too. Sweet, I don't have to build anything myself. Hello, Isle of the Deep, I'm running away now. Turn complete. Production complete. I think it was mostly done anyway, so that's not the greatest time thing on it, but it's okay. Um, we are going to start working on more colony pods first. I want at least three bases before I build a thing. Indigenous life form. Oh right, I had already forgotten that that was an Isle of the Deep. Although I don't think that's consistent. If I remember right, you could just keep reloading and get different things. But I know what my luck is like. It's going to be an Isle of the Deep. 
Please don't destroy. It's going to destroy my unity foil. Oh well, I at least still have one. Um, ooh, mines as well. Maybe I should just go back and build right on the coast. Like there, probably. Or is that rocky? You can't build on rocky terrain. Or you can't build cities on rocky terrain, unfortunately. Yeah, this area is actually pretty terrible for a colony area. I should have put it someplace else. In fact, I'm going to reload and do that. We're a terrible spot. Okay. Um, Turn complete. Go back. Invalid terraform command. Right, I can't create boreholes yet. Um, what's in Nutrient you? Nutrient resources. Nutrient resources and native life forms, of course. Always native life forms. Always. Turn complete. Ah, right. I need to describe that other life form because I haven't yet. So the land one was a mindworm. Mindworms are the basic land units of planet of the aliens it's just gonna move once per turn they do get to move through fungus as though they're roads which means that fungus uh has them move one third of mov movement point instead of a full movement point uh all native life forms are work that way uh the other one this is a spore launcher spore launchers are artillery units artillery is smackies for terrible um <laughs> sad so they're a ranged attacker they can attack two squares away, and they do a tiny amount of damage to everything in the stack. That's it. Um, oh, they can also attack uh, improvements to tiles, so they're annoying. But they don't actually, they can't kill anything. So they're kind of useless, actually. Indigenous life form. Turn complete. Terraform complete. Mm, I think I want to build there. Turn complete. Yep. Akademagorok. Akademagorodok. I'm not good at Russian, by the way. Okay. Um, bonus resources. Former. Former. Creech. Rec Commons. Save template. So you can actually save an entire queue as a template. Um... If I was running the Thinkers mod, one of the things that it does that I discovered the hard way was that it'll use that first template as the default build queue for a new base, which is neat. I just wish I knew about it in advance. Turn complete. Turn complete. Bot recovered. Money. Hey, money. I'm trying to heal up that unit a little bit before having it continue its lovely exploration. Turn complete. Production complete. We built a colony pod, yay. Um, let's go ahead and switch this over to the weather Project paradigm. It's going initiated. to be slow. But it is going to speed up now that I have a former doing things. And I will be using this colony pod up to build a colony somewhere. Mm. Not sure exactly where yet, now that I think about it. Hello, Gaia. So that's who's the one that's nearby me. Okay. So, the familiar face of Provo Sakharov. I, Lady Deidre of the Gaians, offer greetings. 
words, uh, word of your accomplishments has spread since the time of Planetfall. You may be aware that I plan to guard, understand, and preserve planet's native life. Do not try to interfere. Have you heard from Yang recently? I have not been able to locate him or his hive faction since the time of Planetfall, and wanted to continue some of our earlier conversations. If you have his comm frequency, I can offer 20 energy credits for your trouble. Uh, if you have the contact information for a faction that somebody else doesn't, they will always offer to buy it off of you, which is great. Unless if you're at war with them type of thing. Um, they want me to give them Centauri Empathy for a copy of their world map. That's a little rough, but I'm willing to do Secrets of the Human Brain. That's their starting island. Okay. Um, no, I'm not going to give you Centauri Empathy, I'm sorry. But we can absolutely be friends. And they like me because I am green, which is their preferred economic system. Who would have thought the tree huggers like a green economy? Their might is considered formidable. Indigenous life form Turn complete. Once a man has changed the relationship between himself and his environment, he cannot return to the blissful ignorance he left. Motion of necessity involves a change in perspective. Commissioner Previn Lal, A Social History of Planet. I don't quite understand the point of the quote um, in reference to Doctrine and Mobility. I mean, yeah, you're talking about motion involving a change of perspective, but uh, it, you're talking about getting a rover. Anyway, um, so yeah, rivers, they're useful. What is it, Isin Kitty? Oh, Isin's about to throw up. One moment. I am back. Isin has finished with his hairball. What is it with cats and immediately trying to run to the closest surface that you really don't want them to throw up on? And insisting on throwing up on something that you don't want them to throw up on? <sighs> Isin will always run to either... My housemate's rug or the carpet in the living room area, which is my housemate's area. Uh, Zone will always do this on top of my bed. And Boo will always do this on top of her bed. I don't understand it. <sighs> anyway, so we have a few options for technologies at this point. Um, I am thinking that I want to go to Doctor and Flexibility. Let's try to get those boats out soon. We're on an island hopping map after all. I will leave the Gaians be. They're on their own island. It's fine. I am not exactly concerned about them right now. Turn complete. Production complete. They have multiple colony pods there. Interesting. Okay. Hold. Um, hmm. Wish I knew more about this area. Can I, okay, I can't move there. Ah, it's a monolith. Sweet. And yes, the monolith is a reference to 2001 A Space Odyssey. Bot uh, recovered. I have a Unity rover. Ah, ha, ha. Turn complete. Ho, ho, ho. Mineral resources. Uh, has native life forms and mineral resources. That's fine. Hey, Isin, are you feeling better? I'm sorry for moving me before. I know that's uncomfortable for you, but you really need to stop throwing up on things like that. Meow. Although, it's technically a hairball and not throwing up, not I know. Ah, oh, free recycling Turn tanks. Complete. That's fine. Although, it's probably not too far off of being done. Production complete. All right. So one of the abilities that a rover has is the ability to be to disengage, which is if it's starting to lose a battle, it will just go. Mm, nope. I'm going to move out of the way. Or I'm going to take a step back rather than continuing the battle, which is kind of neat, actually. Go ahead and sit there for an extra turn to heal up a little. Meow. Indigenous 
Advanced life forms. Advanced life forms. Complete. Improvement destroyed. Life That's not what I wanted to have happen. I'm just going to reload because screw that. Um, actually, there is a pretty good spot for a base. Nutrient resources. Nutrient resources. Okay. Meow. And we captured a spore launcher. It's not the unit complete. I would prefer to capture because spore launchers are terrible, but it's something. Uh, the spore launcher is independent, which is good. It's a larval mass level, which is the lowest level. So that's not so great, but we're also early on in the game, so that makes sense. Um, wow, our science is terrible right now. Indigenous life forms. Go ahead and fight the other spore launcher make me money and level up. It is now a pre-boil. I captured that spore launcher. Whatever, you're building a base here. Load that template in. Bot recovered. Ooh, alien artifact, sweet. I will be taking that back. Turn complete, production complete. And colony pod. You're going to switch over to... You know what? Let's just make another former. thought I'd put you there to grow faster. Oh, I did. Just when you build a colony pod, your population drops by one. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't have a place to put it right now. I mean, I could put it on the same island I'm on, but this area is really garbage right now. I need to terraform it first. So I'm just going to have you sleep for a while. Unfortunately, um, that unit ended up not independent, but it's actually a part of Gagrin Memorial. So I want to disband it so I don't use up more resources. Also, it means I have it will contribute some minerals to the weather paradigm, which is nice. All right, you need to get back to one of the cities. I'm just going to set it into new Azrus. Azramus? Azramus? New potato. Indigenous life form. Ooh, captured a mind worm. That's much better. Far prefer capturing a mind worm. Um, you're going to sleep so you can heal. Um, honestly, this one is closer to the university base. It'll probably just pick that up. You should continue scouting then. Turn complete. Is this the bottom of the map? No, not even close. So, um, for reference, I did look this up. The extra large map, I think, is actually 256 by 256, which is the maximum size map that the Thinker's mod lets you do. That's why it wasn't erroring when I went to the stupid oversized maps. Because it literally just stops you and go, yeah, no. Turn complete. Nutrient resources. Oh no, it's infested with mind worms. Oh no. Nom 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 nom. See, you'll notice down here, Psi 3, Psi 2. That's because I'm the attacker. And you have leveled up the pre-boil, which is nice. go down the river you're gonna go back to holding wait did that say that territory was oh right i 
built here first, and then the terror. To, uh, then I hit a pod that caused the earthquake. So you can't build on top of rocky terrain, but if the city's already there, that's a different story. Three two two versus three two three. Right, extra plus one because home. And this is two one one. Okay, um, you're gonna go down there. You're gonna hopefully not do that. I'm gonna lose the unity foil again. I mean, in eight more years, I'll be able to build my own, so it's not that big of a deal, I suppose. It's annoying, that's all. Uh, so, for reference, this is the tech chart. And there's actually a better tech chart that um, came with the game. It's poster. I love my poster. I have my poster somewhere around here. It's not hanging up at the moment. I used to always hang up civilization style tech charts. Bot recovered. Another earthquake. Okay. Whatever. Link to the network node and get advance that. is an inherently iterative process. One does not simply take sand from the beach and produce a data probe. We use crude tools to fashion better tools and then our better tools to fashion more precise tools, and so on. Each minor refinement is a step in the process, and all of the steps must be taken. Chairman Chen Jiyang, looking God in the eye. So this tech is garbage. It's mostly just there to be a tech for future tech. Um, the ability that it gives heavy artillery, artillery is terrible in smack. It's not worth it. Um, it used to be that Smack would constantly obsess over having artillery for everything. One of the things that the um, Thinkers mod did that I've kept remaining in the game is remove the default AI unit for an artillery so the AI doesn't constantly build artillery. It helps the AI quite a bit. It's just that bad. There's no reason to have artillery. I'm sorry, game. Data pod recovered. And we gained a new tech. Scientific theories are judged by the coherence they lend to our natural experience and the simplicity with which they do so. The grand principle of the heavens balances on the razor's edge of truth. Commissioner Pravin Lal, A History of Science. So, um, usually you don't find tech outright in pods. To be fair, I'm used to use it playing on a higher difficulty level than normal, where you definitely don't find it. Um, but usually you find uh, alien artifacts instead. This gives us the ability to have better weapons. Now that we actually have Deidre near us, maybe that might be useful, but at the moment, it's fine. Um, I'm going to have you stay there for a turn. Turn you complete. Too. Production complete. You can stay one more turn. You don't need to stay anymore. You're going to hopefully go around that landmass. Um, save Mod and... Recovered. Hey, look, free recycling tanks. Nice. Alright, you have built that. Time for you to start building some forests. Flat, moist, 10 meters. Forest. Foresting everything Turn is my complete. standard strategy. It's a standard strategy of a lot of more advanced Mac players. Uh, a forest, what it does is that it replaces the normal production of a tile with one nutrient, two minerals, and one energy. And forests can be upgraded with buildings in cities. Uh, eventually becoming three minerals to... Or, sorry, three nutrients, two minerals, three energy. All right, yeah. So, forests are generally good. And in my mind, you basically compare every type of terraforming with forests. On top of that, terraforming actually causes eco damage to the planet, uh, which will show up on a base screen. Forests give negative one eco damage to the planet instead. So, forests are 
pretty darn awesome in this game. Production complete. So anything arid, you should just forest. Or borehole, I guess. Um, Indigenous life of course. Indigenous sure. life complete. Oh boy, I gained artillery, yay. At least you're independent. So you'll notice that because I have trance, it's a plus 50% to Psy, I was also a veteran, which is plus 12 and a half percent. And I leveled up again to Commando. That was the one that's in between uh, veteran and elite. Indigenous life form. I'll just take more money, I guess. Okay. Let's start focusing down below. There you go. Life forms. Indigenous life forms. That's not where I want to do it. Damn it. Indigenous life forms. Dumb. Dumb. Indigenous life forms. Dumb. Dumb. Bot recovered. Mining bot. Turn complete. Um. Bye, Scout Patrol. That's bot fine. recovered. I have a Unity Rover instead. Neener, neener, neener. Yeah. Demon Boil is the highest level of native unit, and a Demon Boil Fungal Tower we are not taking anytime soon. Terraform complete. Ooh. Another alien artifact. I approve. Bot recovered. And we get free formers. Nice. Energy resources. And another alien artifact. We now have too many alien artifacts because we don't have a boat to move this back with yet. Turn complete. I'll have one soon though. Production complete. So, fun thing about this game is that when you move into a fungus spot, the game will roll to see, hey, look, doesn't native life form appear? If you already have a unit in the fungus spot, though, you'll always be able to move to that spot without spawning an alien life form. So, you know, pro tip. Not recovered. Yet another network. Okay. We have way too many of these at this point. That's fine. Uh, former, you're going to start heading that way for forming. I didn't mean to move you all the way over there, but that's fine. That'll still be useful. Terraform complete. Um, road. What's over here? Turn complete. Enemy project. Ah, initiated. Yang is starting to work on the weather paradigm. You do get informed when an AI is working on a secret project, and when an AI is about finished, along with actually finished. However, if there are sunspot activity going on, which disrupts communications, you only get the actually finished notice. That's okay. We have also been working on the weather paradigm, and we're doing much better at it, I think. We have 27 turns left. Insufficient energy. We can almost buy it, which is nice. Bot recovered. Okay, apparently we're just going to have lots of artifacts. That's fine. Sit there for a couple turns. Turn complete. You're gonna move down there? Okay, yeah, there's nothing there like I thought there would be. I'm gonna go to the edge to 
in preparation for somebody to pick you up? Hopefully somebody cool. Let's go ahead and we're not going to advance our secret project because that's a waste of an alien artifact in my mind. He held his arm too Ooh, stiffly. It's the tech that we were working and so on. So was thrown back repeatedly until at last I seized his forearm and snapped it back against itself. His training suffered while the arm healed, of course, but I felt this was a lesson he must learn early. And well. Spartan Kel, honing the key. Mm. Just realized my green screen is slightly shifted. Whoops. I probably knocked into it. Okay. Um. So yeah, the Spartans are crazy. Who would have thought? Um, so yeah, we can now build boats, which is good. We can also build pressure domes, which allow a city to survive if it goes underwater. So this is a way of mitigating effects of global warming, for an example. Um, we need a new tech, so I'm just going to force it. And what do we want? I kind of want to go for a lot of things, actually. Um, let's go for progenitor psych. Aqua farms will give us extra mineral or extra nutrients from water, which now that we actually have water units, sounds like a good idea because you can actually build colonies in the water in this game, which is nice. So let's go ahead and foil terraformer does not need shielding. And yep, that's it. Sea former done. We're also going to go foil colony module it's a sea colony pod done finally we need foil for transport it's a transport you will notice that it is better than the unity foil so we can actually upgrade the crappy unity foils that we have to be useful which i will be doing cannot execute order uh, we don't have a prototype of it? I don't see any prototype needed. Oh, right. We need to actually have a unit of it first. Turn complete. Also, forests will grow on their own, which is very nice. And I nice. stood before him, and I sang unto her. And it appeared to listen. His very countenance rippled like the sea, and the sound of my own voice came back to me, distorted. For a moment, I thought she was mocking me, for it was non sapient and mimicking me. Then I understood. The sounds were not important, it was how I affected his sounds and how she affected mine that transmitted the message. Prime function, Aki Zeta 5, one future. So, Progenitor Psych is our first tech that comes from Alien Crossfire, the expansion. And all of the Alien Crossfire techs are spoken by the Alien Crossfire factions, which I have not explained yet. Prime function, Aki Zeta 5, is the faction leader of the Cybernetic Consciousness, also known as, in-game, the Borg. They're referred to as cyborgs in-game, but all of the game files call them Borg. Um, yeah, and the progenitors that they're referring to, there are two alien factions in Alien Crossfire, hence the alien part of Alien Crossfire. They hate each other, hence the Crossfire part of Alien Crossfire. And you have to have progenitor psych in order to be able to talk with them. They also speak very strangely, as you'll find out in later quotes. Um, Let's go ahead and go with planetary Production networks. complete. Zoom down. Terraform complete. Ooh, graphical glitching. to activate the colony pod and move it there. That way, next turn, I can move the colony pod onto the crappy boat. 
Speaking of, maybe I should build a crappy boat. I want you to get food faster. Indigenous life forms. So for reference, the reason why I'm moving back and forth in Fungus is to spawn alien units in order to get money. Because I like money. Because I can use money for things like removing 25 turns worth of this eventually. Um, I don't quite have enough money right now, but I will soon. Turn complete. Oh, Yang wants to talk with me. This isn't good because I'm not currently a police state. So he's hating me right now, hence the seething. I must caution you that our, my engineers have completed an advanced laser infantry prototype, 221. The first units are entering service now, rendering my forces practically invincible. Uh, we don't have that as a prototype right now, but we could. Uh, no, I'm not going to give you Doctrine Flexibility. All right, you want a loan from me. I am not willing to give him a loan because he's currently working on the same secret project I am. Prova Sakharov, sure, you must surely realize that democracy is a menace to right-thinking people everywhere. Common citizens cannot be allowed to question the decisions of their rulers. I urge you to impose strict police control at once. Go away. Luckily, he's far away. I'm not too concerned about being at war with him. Terraform complete. Right. Get the colony pod on there. That's a higher priority. I'm just leaving the alien artifact here for the time being. You are going towards that pod. You're moving up there. You're going to move back there. You're also going to move up. You're going to sit there. You're going to wish I can upgrade order. that pod. <laughs> Turn complete. Forest is expanding. Complete. Forest expanding messages are going to come up constantly. I will eventually make that pop up go away. Between that and sea kelp, just it's going to constantly happen. Um, let's go ahead and get a research bonus. Why not? All right, and life forms. mind drums. It's always mind drums. Indigenous life forms. On the plus side, money. Turn complete. So what I'm hoping for is a regular mind drum because they're a lot better at harvest uh, farming. Um, can I afford you yet? Insufficient energy. No. So, uh, it's going to end up being... That costs 428. So the way the energy costs are calculated for projects is assuming that you have at least a certain amount of minerals. Secret projects are four money, or four energy credits per mineral. Regular improvements are two energy credits per mineral. I am producing five minerals per turn, which means that I can lop off 20 energy credits off of the cost of rushing it, because I'll have one turn worth of reduction afterward. Unfortunately, that's only 428. It's not worth me throwing money at it yet. Yeah, go away. Production complete. Terraform complete. You're gonna farm. You're gonna forest that, sucker. Go 
there. You're gonna hold just like the others. Turn there complete. We're gonna Terra force that. Complete. We're gonna I can actually mine that spot. I don't normally do farm mine just because uh, it doesn't produce all that much in the way of nutrients and forest is almost always better. But in this case, I actually do want two nutrients to minerals, which is what I think forest mine would give me. Actually, it might give me one nutrient now that I'm saying that out loud. Yeah, it would give me one nutrient. That's not worth doing. Turn complete. Terraform complete. Turn complete drone riots. Our first drone riots. Now remember, it's after four population you get an extra drone if we go over to the site category we can see that our police have dropped stopped one of the drones from happening but the second drone not so much so what we need to do is we need to pick up one of these citizenry and turn them into a doctor our options are doctor or technician at the moment if we had the tech that we're currently working on we would also have librarian uh, technician adds three money per turn doctor adds two psych and every two psych will convert a drone into a regular or sorry a regular citizen into a talent and the librarian is three uh labs there are improved versions of these things later on in the game can i hurry you rides. yet no because you're drone riding right i should have paid more attention terraform complete. just wait until you're healed Ooh, this area doesn't seem too bad. Oh, right. I should have this unit going back to pick up the um, alien artifact. Ow. Indigenous life form. There we go. Now I picked up a mindworm. That's nice. Oh, why did I move the former as a scout? That was dumb of me. Turn complete. Drone riots have ended. Terraform complete. Wasting turns. Ah, shame on me. That area looks to be a fairly large landmass, actually. Turn complete. Life well, we spawned the mine horn at least. Unfortunately, it's not helping us, but you know. Rolling moist, so nutrient bonus. What nutrient bonuses are are plus two food, as long as the tile is not fungus, which replaces the existing contents of the tile, or borehole, which drops the nutrients to zero, which is apparently a bug in the game, as I found out recently. It's always been that way to me, so I'm just used to it. Hey, soon, I know you're hungry. You can wait a little bit. It's okay. Turn complete. Hello, Lol. Okay. So, Brother Lol's territory is over here. Ah, the brilliant Provost Akarov. I have heard many tales of your exploits. As for myself, I remain Brother Lol of the Peacekeepers. My intention is to defend the humanitarian principles of our original UN Charter. Soon, what? He's just crying over here because he's so hungry. You can tell he's wasting away. Never been fed in his life. Right, kitty cat? You step a paw in my mouth. 
Uh, have you heard of Deidre recently? I've been unable to locate her or her Gaian faction since the time of Planetfall, and wanted to continue some of our earlier conversations. If you have a conference, can say I can offer 30 energy credits for your trouble. So they will only offer to buy a comm frequency once per conversation. So I am going to exit this and re-enter to sell Yangs as well. Ah, you would like to trade ethical calculus for planetary networks, which is what I'm currently researching. That is perfectly if fine. If our society with me. seems more nihilistic than that of previous eras, perhaps this is simply a sign of our maturity as a sentient species. As our collective consciousness expands beyond a crucial point, we are at last ready to accept life's fundamental truth that life's only purpose is life itself. Chairman Shen Ji Yang, looking God in the eye. So yeah, um, Planetary Networks gives us the ability to get the best secret project in the game for the university, along with probe teams, which are spies. You can use probe teams to infiltrate people, you can Use them to buy units, actually, and even buy bases outright, along with lots of other things to bases. So, very useful. I am not going to do um, economic change, at least at the moment. Trading polymorphic software for a copy of the world map? You know what? Sure. Ah, this is not his territory. He's looking at the map. He's got bases down there, but oh, UN Education Agency is there. Drat, I should have built that first. Oh well. Um, but no, I am not going to give you a tech for free, but I will offer peace. And LOL encourages democracy, so he likes the fact that I'm democratic. Um, I don't suppose you have any... Energy or research? Nope, you don't have any research. Okay. So once more, we need to change our tech because we keep getting it in other ways. That's fine. Um, let's go ahead and go with gene splicing so we can get more nutrients. Okay. So that is the current borders, which means that I am going to send this unit here. Terraform complete. As Isun starts coming from underneath my desk. I just saw a, a head appear between my legs. <laughs> Cats. Alright, you have finished healing. We're going to move you up to the spot that I haven't been to before. Indigenous life form. Mindworm. Yay! Nom 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 nom. Oh, I should have moved differently where I would be there this turn. turn that was foolish of me. Uh, really? Damn you. Uh, that was weird. The game just hung on me. That wasn't a video glitch. That was the game hanging. Don't know why. They attacked my Unity rover because I was stupid and moving. Terraform complete. And that means that I lost that colony pod. I need to get another one fast. A regular colony pod, please. Retool. Um, I'm going to finish the weather paradigm before I do Request anything else. Confirmation. So it's going to be minus 24. Off of that, that's 280 for the partial payment. I don't know why, but Smack doesn't let you use a keypad for putting in numbers. I keep forgetting about that. And I'm going to Request hurry you up. Yeah, you can just do a normal hurry. Um, go ahead and switch to that after. And, okay. Really, cat. Yeah, it only gives two minerals for a mine. So a rolling mine is not worth doing. It needs to be rocky for it, a mine to actually be of any use at all. 
indigenous life forms. Don't mind if I do. Nom, 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 nom. In theory, I could have captured it, but I don't want to capture that type of unit. Um, I guess head up here. Indigenous life form. Turn. Oh, thank you for the mind worm. So, Lal has the most territory, but that makes sense. Take a look at his land mass. He literally has more land than the rest of us. And he has four bases. I have four as well. Was it going to have five until somebody destroyed it? Stupid native life forms. Um, oh, right. I need to talk with Lal again. Oh, he wants a loan. That's actually a good payment plan. But look at how long it takes to get money back. So 52 and a half years is the break-even point. 52 and a half turns. And if he declares war on you, the loan payments stop. So it's an investment, and it's not a particularly good investment in my mind. So I usually say no to loans. Um, that's weird. He never asked for Yang's call signal. It could be the Deidre. Sold it to him. Uh, you want the same loan? No. And I don't want to talk to Yang. I mean, I can talk to him if I... Here, I'll show you. Uh, if I switch over to a police state... Oh, I have an explained plant. So it's plus two growth, plus one industry. Industry reduces the cost of... Here, I can see. Industry. Mineral costs decrease by 10%, so everything that you build costs 10% less. But economic paralysis. Um, I'm not changing that. Um, let's go with police state temporarily and talk with Yang. He still hates me. Okay. Whatever, Yang. I'm switching back to a democracy and getting a refund. Uh, in addition, I think I want to... Drop it down like that. Let's get more science on. Science is taking too long. I need to get more science. I see he re he avenged me. Ooh, we lost an artifact. That's gotta hurt. But we get our first secret project. I shall not confront planet as an enemy, but shall accept its mysteries as gifts to be cherished. Nor shall I crudely seek to peel the layers away like the skin from an onion. Instead, I shall gather them together as the tree gathers the breeze. The wind shall blow and I shall bend. The sky shall open and I shall drink my fill. Gaian Acolyte's Prayer So, first off, if you can't tell, I had to edit that into the recording that I'm doing. I, so in normal smack, what happens with those wonder movies is that the game actually switches resolution to the wonder movie, which is incredibly low resolution. Um, and then switches resolution back one that doesn't work very well in windows 10, especially when you're switching resolution to what was it like two twenty by one eighteen, some really tiny screen resolution. Um, so even if I had that ability set, it would glitch out. And two, a lot of other things would happen. Um, it wouldn't let me hold on to my existing screen resolution for the game. So instead, I have it... Uh, one of the things that PracX does is when the game triggers a FMV, it will actually make a call to a batch file that I made to launch VLC. And what I'm doing is I'm just capturing VLC while I'm recording this. So, you know, fun things. Um, you can see the quote down in the um, detailed description down here, but there's not going to be any subtitles for it. So we have the weather paradigm now. Nobody else can build it, so anybody currently working in the weather paradigm might switch their progress to a different wonder. And we are the first one to complete a secret project. That's typical for me. See? So the Hive is redirecting to the Command Nexus, and they're probably going to get the Command Nexus because I have no intention of taking it from them. So the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to build that Wreck Commons so we can stop dealing with the stupid drone. And so the city can grow again. 
because I want it to grow. We're at an hour, so I'm going to finish up this turn, and that will be it for this video. Hope people are enjoying this. Uh, this is a lot more fun for me than the previous game, because I was starting to get really frustrated at the end, because uh, I, built, I did everything wrong, because I was assuming things that apparently shouldn't have been assumed. I was assuming the AI was going to be different. I wasn't assuming that the entire game was going to be different. All right, you're going to go to here. Sleep to heal. You're going to move around. Turn. You're going to move complete. around, and we are done with the turn. Once more, I hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.